Okay. Feel how your body weight transitions from one foot to the other. Feel how your hips and shoulders turn. And it should turn as one unit. It's not like we're doing salsa dancing where you need to turn your hips separate from your shoulders. Anybody who's a salsa dance out here? I guess not. Okay. Please call me. <laughs> okay, now stop. So this reflects when I throw punches <coughs> straight, I throw hooks, I throw uppercuts, I throw elbows, I throw knees, I throw kicks. Everything's turning my hips and shoulders together. Okay? Fighting stance. Okay, hands up. Lock your fingers together, just like so. Put your thumbs on your collarbone. Okay, and now we're just going to turn our hips and shoulders like we did before. Keep your head straight. Turn your hip and shoulder, just like that. Right here. All right. Okay. Move on to the next step. Okay. We're going to pretend like we're uh, refereeing football. Touchdown. Good. <laughs> Turn your palms out. Bring them down just a little bit. Rotate forward so that your left hand comes to the front. Okay. Bring your left hand to your forehead. It's going to protect you. Your right hand throws the elbow. Hold this position. You're backwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we open up this way, so your right hand's in the front, left hand's in the back. Bring your right hand, protect your head, and your left hand elbows. Good. Open back up. Elbow. Open up. Elbow. Keep going. Keep your, your hands open and relaxed. You do not want to make a fist. Everybody stop for a second. Okay, put your hand like this. Okay. Feel the bone that runs down your arm. All right. Now hold it right here, right in the front. Put your fingers right there on the front. Now make a fist. When you make a fist, you feel the muscle close over that bone. Right? I want to hit with the bone. I don't want to hit with the muscle. So I want to keep my hands relaxed. If I make a fist, make that muscle tight, I can actually end up hitting with that muscle. I'd rather hit with the bone. The bone's a lot more solid. Of course, my bones are all messed up from hitting with poles and stuff like that. But, you know, so I want to keep my hands open and relaxed. In Thai boxing, the elbow is like a battle axe. Right? I use my elbows. If I'm here, I throw this elbow and just kind of raise across. That's how we cut. Okay, I see that in the UFC all the time. People throw elbows to try and cut their opponent open because that's what stops fights in the ring. In the street, I don't know. If you're, somebody's bleeding in their eye, they might stop, but they might go nuts. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, my elbow too, I can use it to smash. Right? So it's like a club. That's what I love about elbows. Very useful, right? You can also come down, use the point of the elbow. It's not legal in most states in competition. Um, I can come up with the elbow, and then I can even throw the spinning back elbow where I come here, come back around. I want my hand here. That's why I did the thing with your thumb on your collarbone. But that's the elbow position. If my finger's down, a lot of people do that. I always say the pinky points where you want the elbow to go. If my pinky is here, the bone that I'm trying to strike with is now here. I'm more likely to hit with the meat of my arm. Same thing with the thumb. Now I'm going to hit the underside of my arm, which is even worse. Okay, so I want to come in here. Bang. The other thing is, a lot of times I'll throw an elbow and actually will come up and then down. All right? A little bit of down component to it, a little bit more of the cutting motion. See so that knee? It comes up to my opponent's abdomen and it just goes straight there. Bang. All right? I'm not bringing it way the heck up like that because there's no reason to. I'm just going to come here. The foot that's on the ground, I'm going to get up on the ball of my foot, drive my hips forward. You hear? The other thing is you don't want to lean back too much because now your momentum, which should all be going forward, you're losing a component to your body weight going back. Okay? Forward, forward, forward. Almost like we're going above. Going forward towards your target. So my knee here. Okay? As opposed to sometimes people want to do that. See how my foot just twisted? My foot's not pointing forward anymore. It's not, I'm losing my forward component of that leg. So I want it here. One, it gives me better balance and it also gives me better power. I'm going to use my calf muscles to help drive my leg forward. The other thing is, in terms of a forward knee, okay, if I'm here, whoa, see how it just goes forward? If I'm throwing a knee at her head, then I'm going to come up, okay? But if I'm just standing here like this, 
And a lot of times I throw knees just straight, you know, no clinch. I need to come forward. I need to hit what's available as opposed to trying to come up and I'm losing all this power by trying to elevate my leg so much. You know, and then she sees my knee coming and she just kind of leans back. Right? So, you know, when it comes to knees, there's essentially three types of knees. There's a straight knee. Okay? We're in tight. There's a round knee, which is just like the round kick. Turn my hips and my shoulders. And then there's a slapping knee, where I come up and I slap it in. I use more of the inside. Okay? Really, we're just going to focus on the straight knee. Right plant hand up, grab. Right knee, plant. Left hand grab, left knee, plant. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's go like two, three knees. Go back to your place. And actually, we'll go knees, turn around, knees. So three and three. Try not to hit anyone or anything. Make sure you throw the knees forward. Do not throw the knees up. The last thing I just bugs the heck out of me is to see people throwing the knees up. You get no power out of throwing your knees upward. You're just going to put your hand on your partner's shoulders, just like this, relax, and you're just going to knee. One foot on the ground at a time. Okay? I don't want to see both feet on the ground. I don't want to see you guys doing this. Okay? Try this. It's skipping knees. Okay? Give it a whirl. Just kick. Turn your hip and shoulder. Just kick. Turn your hip and shoulder. Crank into it. Keep your chin down. Keep your shoulder over it. Keep your other hand next to your head. Keep yourself protected. We're going to start off kicking to the body. Okay? I just want to kick. Did you have another handle? Maybe you shouldn't have your arm behind it. There's also a 45 kick. And with a 45 kick, I basically go straight from where my foot is in the stance to the target, okay? Generally, I'll bring my knee more forward. There's less rotation. It's a little bit of a faster kick. People who aren't as flexible find this kick easier because you don't have to turn your hips over so much. You don't have to do as much kind of splitting. Like, if I'm going to kick high, I'll generally always kick this way. I'm going to kick and just straight to the target. See what I'm talking about? I come here, bang, as opposed to coming that way. So I, I can use this kick whether I'm kicking low, I'm kicking the body, or if I'm kicking high. Same thing with a round kick. I can kick the round kick low, kick the round kick to the body, kick the round kick high. This is different. 